Hello and welcome to this fresh episode of Research Plus Practice. Today is a very special video uh, that we are bringing out in honor and tribute of Professor Clayton Christensen, a giant in the field of management research and practice who passed away last week. Any student of management cannot do uh, without reading about his books and his work and especially you would find one work that has been with him for all these years for what he's known being disruptive innovation. And in his honor, we thought we'd bring this video and Shashwat and I decided that since so much has been written on disruptive innovation and if you Google in the last week as well, people have talked so much about his contribution in the field, we will discuss a different theory. We will discuss about jobs to be done and how jobs to be done is again an equally powerful uh, research thought that came out through Professor Christensen's and his team's research. So let's take the next three minutes to understand jobs to be done theory. Customers buy products to perform certain jobs. Clayton Christensen and the team came up with, that, with this idea while working with different organizations and specifically with a large restaurant chain who gave them a task to improve sales of a certain product. More specifically, uh, the team was given a challenge of how to improve sales for milkshakes. Now, in the early part of this research, uh, they came across multiple ideas uh, from various people, some suggesting that oh, why don't we do tasting for new exotic flavors or some said let's improve their visibility and make it faster and the ordering process more simpler and some said let's look at promoting it as a health drink. While many of these ideas were flowing in, the team decided to pause and actually reflect as to who was actually buying milkshakes. So while observing, they came across a group of customers who would typically walk in and have milkshakes as a takeout. Interestingly, during the morning rush hours, the frequency of such people who would just walk in and have milkshake as a takeout used to bump up significantly. So there was something very special about this working group which was going to office which preferred to buy a milkshake while on their way to work. So definitely uh, the team realized that there was something about milkshake that was making it suitable as a partner for your morning office drives. What job was milkshake performing for these customers? All right then, what job was milkshake doing for its customer? Professor Christensen and the team realized that for the early morning office goers who were driving down to work, milkshake meant a very special thing. Now think about it, someone rushing in and trying to grab a bite while driving, what options does he have? He can have a banana, but for sure, you know, in 30 minutes or 40 minutes drive, he's not going to have 10, 10 bananas, right? He might have one and then maybe feel hungry uh, later. Or, or, and also, what, would, what does he do for the next 30, 40 minutes of the ride? Uh, you can give him a sandwich, very filling, but uh, managing the sauce and the mayo can be a challenge. And even if he is a coffee or a, a tea lover and you give him a traveling mug or a tumbler, still the coffee will get cold for a period of time and it could not be that tasty. And this is where Milkshake found the sweet spot. So the team realized that customers were using Milkshake not only as a filling and a sumptuous meal but also as a companion for their drive where they were sipping upon it for 20 to 30 minutes and not only enjoying a good meal but also having something to do to break the monotony of their drive.
Look at the beauty of this theory. In a very simple observation led to a very powerful theory that customers buy products to do certain jobs for them. And in this case, milkshake was not only a filling and a sumptuous meal for the customer, it was also their companion on the drive. So what suggestions did they give to the restaurant owners? Uh, make it healthier, make it chunkier so that, you know, if there are fruit pieces that come while sipping in uh, the milkshake, it breaks the monotony of the drive and possibly make it thicker so that it lasts for more than 30 to 40 minutes. Very simple idea. And this was perhaps the gift that Professor Christensen possessed. His ability to look at real time, real, uh, real life experiences and situations theorizing them and then communicating them so lucidly that even that he will be missed uh, by management researchers and practitioners in the years to come. Having said that, his work still remains with us and we are, and Shashwat and I are honored to come out with this tribute video to him. In the description, we have provided some links for your reading in case you wish to read more about jobs to be done theory. Uh, please go ahead and read them and uh, do share your thoughts and feedback. What products are you buying or what products are you selling uh, and what jobs are they performing for the customers? So till next time, uh, goodbye and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.